Have you ever wondered what was going to happen to you next? Or when you have a bad day and wonder why things are happening this way? Sometimes we feel like there is no reason for why things happen. But in today's gospel, Jesus reminds us that the Father has planned everything with us in mind. As we continue throughout our lives, we must learn to trust in God's plan and believe that he has created every day, every conversation, and every step just for us. As we prepare for the celebration of the liturgy this morning, let us pray that we may ask God's will for us in all that we do. Please stand and join in singing our gathering hymn, eight, number 848, in your gather book, Gather Us In. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good morning. Good morning, Father. As we gather at this Eucharist, brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you are a mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the Word made flesh, the splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O oh God, who have prepared for those who love you good things which no eye can see, fill our hearts, we pray, with the warmth of your love, so that, living you and loving you in all things and above all things, we may obtain your promises, which surpass every human desire. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. reading from the book of Joshua. Joshua gathered together all the tribes of Israel at Shechem, summoning their elders, their leaders, their judges, and their officers. When they stood in ranks before God, Joshua addressed all the people. Thus says the Lord, the God of Israel, 
in times past, your father down to Terah, father of Abraham and Nahor, dwelt beyond the river and served other gods. But I brought your father Abraham from the regions beyond the river, and I led him through the entire land of Canaan. I made his descendants numerous and gave them Isaac. To Isaac, I gave Jacob and Esau. To Esau, I assigned the mountain regions of Seir in which to settle, while Jacob and his children went down to Egypt. Then I sent Moses and Aaron and smote Egypt with the prodigies, which I wrought in her midst. Afterwards, I led you out of Egypt, and when you reached the sea, the Egyptians pursued your fathers to the Red Sea with chariots and horsemen. Because they cried out to the Lord, he put darkness between your people and the Egyptians, upon whom he brought the sea so that it engulfed them. After you witnessed what I did to Egypt and dwelt a long time in the desert, I brought you into the land of the Amorites, who lived east of the Jordan. They fought against you, but I delivered them into your power. You took possession of their land, and I destroyed them, the two kings of the Amorites before you. Then Balak, son of Zippor, king of Moab, prepared to war against Israel. He summoned Balaam, son of Beor, to curse you, but I would not listen to Balaam. On the contrary, he had to bless you, and I saved you from him. Once you crossed the Jordan and came to Jericho, the men of Jericho fought against you, but I delivered them also into your power. And I sent the hornets ahead of you that drove the Amorites, Perzites, Canaanites, Hittites, Girgashites, Hivites, and Jebusites out of your way. It was not your sword or your bow. I gave you a land that you had not tilled and cities that you had not built to dwell in. You have eaten of vineyards and olive groves which you did not plant. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
Dio. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Some Pharisees approached Jesus and tested him, saying, Is it lawful for a man to divorce his wife for any cause, whatever? He said in reply, Have you not read that from the beginning the Creator made them male and female, and said, For this reason a man shall leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife, and the two shall become flesh. So they are no longer two, but one flesh. Therefore what God has joined together, man must not separate. They said to him, Then why did Moses command that a man give the woman a bill of divorce and dismiss her? He said to them, Because of the hardness of your hearts, Moses allowed you to divorce your wives, but from the beginning it was not so. I say to you, whoever divorces his wife, unless the marriage is unlawful, and marries another, commits adultery. His disciples said to him, If that is the case of a man with his wife, it is better not to marry. He answered, Not all can accept this word, but only those to whom that it is granted. Some are incapable of marriage because they were born so, some because they were made so by others, some because they have renounced marriage for the sake of the kingdom of heaven. Whoever can accept this ought to accept it. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. This is a huge softball. And when I was growing up in Chicagoland, this is the baseball that we played on the streets. And it's bigger than a normal softball, and it's heavier. But could you picture me out there trying to play baseball by myself? So if I threw the ball and I hit it, I would have to run, and then I would have to catch it. And then I would have to figure out how to run to the base and be able to catch it, but then also tag myself out. That's not possible, is it? No, you cannot play baseball by yourself. It is not possible. And is it fun playing basketball by yourself? All you do is shoot baskets or dribble. It's when a team is formed and everyone is working together and they have a common goal and that common goal is to succeed all together, not one person shining forth, but everybody, everyone having their part in making a winning game. We are designed to be in community. We are not designed by God to stand alone. We are designed we are created to be a team, a team in Christ. Using each one of our talents, whatever that talent is, to bring forth the kingdom of God. The Israelites, as they went forth into the promised land, became 12 tribes. And when the Israelites became 12 tribes, they were somewhat successful, but not as successful as they were before. 
And when the 12 tribes were able to work as a team with God as their focus, they were a mighty force to deal with. But when they lost that focus with God, and they all were their own tribes trying to succeed by themselves, it did not work. The enemy could come in and take over their lands. But if they kept focus on God and was one nation, they were a mighty force to deal with. When we work as a community and we each give ourselves to Christ, we become an incredible team. A team that is not focused on ourselves, but focused on Christ. And our goal is not about winning. It's about being Christ to the world. And when we're community together, we can do wonderful things, giving God glory over and over and over again. In bringing our intentions to our Lord, we open our hearts to the ways of the Lord. Let us open our hearts this day and pray that we will always be one in Christ. For our Holy, Holy Father, Pope Francis, Archbishop Thomason, and all bishops, priests, and deacons, may they continue to guide our hearts towards the loving wisdom of Christ. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our, for our world leaders, may Christ guide them so they may see the needs of his people. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the poor, may they turn to the Lord in their need and seek his guidance. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For the unborn, may God wrap his hands around them and protect them from all harm. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. For the sick, may they feel the healing power of Christ and find strength in him. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all vocations, priesthood, religious life, single life, and married life, uh, that they may feel God's presence in their lives, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died, may they be welcomed into the heavenly kingdom of God. And at this Mass, we pray for a special way for penny bowling. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Gracious God, we bring our needs this day to you with open hearts, knowing that through Christ your Son, you will hear us and bring forth your goodness in abundance. Pour forth your Spirit out upon us, that we may truly be a community, one, one in our Savior. We ask this and all our needs through Jesus Christ, our Lord.
Please join in singing number 107 from your spirit and song book, Lead Me Lord. Number 107 in the spirit and song. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive our oblation, O Lord, which is brought about in a glorious exchange, that by offering what you have given, we may merit to receive your very self. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin. Fulfilling your will and gaining you for a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim.
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. Once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Charles our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, O mighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, All glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. 
For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Please join in singing our communion hymn found in your spirit and song book number 346 god of wonders number 346 also found on your song sheets
please join in singing our second communion hymn, Great Are You, Lord, found on your song sheet. Let us pray. Made partakers of Christ through these sacraments, we humbly implore your mercy, Lord, that conformed to his image on earth, we may merit also to be his co-heirs in heaven, who lives and reigns forever and ever. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please join together in singing number 384 from the Spirit and Song Forever, number 384. Mm -hmm. 